As leave votes go, you don't get any stronger in Yorkshire than Doncaster. 69% of people wanted out. And here in Stainford, it's not about how you voted anymore. It's now about how you think the negotiations are going. Feel free to insert your own hot air gag here. Is the economy going to be better? I don't think so. I think the interest rate's going to be higher. People's going to struggle with buying houses and mortgages because there isn't that much information going about. And it's a bit cloak and dagger at the moment. The government doesn't know what they're doing, so they're not ex telling everybody else how it's going to work. I think a lot of people are scared to speak out about it because a lot of communities, um, if you say you disagree with something, look down on you. Well, I voted to leave. Uh, basically, and I just think it's dragging its feet. So direct line to Theresa May, what do you say to her? Get your P45. Why do you say that? She's... I don't think she's the right person for the country. She's not a proper leader. We need somebody uh, who's got the minerals, and she certainly hasn't. Down the road, the pro-Remain group, Best for Doncaster, is trying to test the water with their... Brexitometer. Well, it's not going well, is it? They want to find out whether people's views have changed over the last two years. Will it be good for the NHS? Strongly agree. For former miner and remainer Bob, well, he knows this is a tough crowd, but he feels the Brexit process is making people change their minds. I don't think it's gone as well as people expected. So they're far more receptive to come in and talking to you and expressing the feelings, which can only be a good thing. Do you think any of your ex-colleagues will agree with you? Uh, well, I, they probably disagree, but I'd love to go in the working men's club and have a discussion with them. Yeah, good idea, Bob. So that's where we went next. Quick afternoon pint and some politics. What could be better than that? I feel the process over the last two years has been basically, could have been handled better. Uh, it's been, in my opinion, a lot of people's opinion a stitch up from day one. It's not changed my mind, no, and I don't think it's changed a lot of people's minds. Basically, I think there's been a lot of scare stories going off. We're going to end up worse off. We're not. Brexit is the impossible question whose answers won't reveal themselves until well into next year, if that. So for now, for every smiley face, there's a frowny one too. James Vincent, BBC Look North, Doncaster.